，最爱摔倒的动物是哪一个呢？你知道吗？我们今天会学习答案了。欢迎大家到破解中文，我是雨鹏。今天我们要学习一个中文笑话。Hey、everybody, I'm Carl from Cracking Chinese, and today we want to learn how to tell a joke in Chinese. So let's get cracking. 让我们开始吧。So a quick note about today's joke, or we could call it a riddle, is that it's based on homophones, Chinese homophones. So a homophone in Chinese is when you have different characters that are said with the same pronunciation and generally speaking with the exact same tone as well, but they have very different meanings. For example, you have yo yu, which is two second tones. Now that could either mean since or because, or it could mean squid. And if the word is said in isolation, you wouldn't know which one it is. You would only be able to tell by context. Another example is gongji. Gongji to first tones could mean attack, but it could also mean rooster. So again, two very different meanings. And today's joke is based on this principle of homophones. So here's the joke again in its entirety. 最爱摔倒的动物是哪一个呢？你能猜吗？答案呢？狐狸。为什么呢？因为它狡猾。So did that make any sense to you? Well, let's break it down in English. Give you a translation. So, 最爱摔倒的动物是哪一个呢 ？Means which animal loves or likes to fall over the most? And then you might say, "Ni nong tai ma?" Can you guess? Da an the answer? Huli. Huli is the word for fox. Now, why? 为什么？因为它狡猾。Because he's cunning. So, did that still not make any sense to you? Well, this is where Chinese homophones come into play. The Chinese word for cunning, jiao hua, third tone, second tone, can have a different meaning if we use different characters. So, jiao, third tone, means feet or foot, and hua, second tone, can mean slippery. So, why does the fox like to fall over the most? Because his feet are slippery. So I think that's a pretty clever play on words there, using jiao hua to mean cunning or to mean slippery feet. So I think that's a really funny joke. But not everybody that I've told it to shares my feelings. What do you think? Do you think it was funny or not? Let us know down in the comments below. But either way, hopefully you still learn some Chinese. So that's it for today's video. Be very grateful if you can hit the like button, the bell button. Consider subscribing to the channel, and hopefully we'll see you next time. 谢谢大家，再见，加油。